Hi folks, um, there's a little soldering job that I'm going to be doing today. This is for a friend of mine who's um, very much like me, a computer enthusiast, builds his own machines. And the amazing thing about this guy is that he's blind. And, and how he does it is absolutely amazing. Um, but he's got a bit of a problem with one of his cases. And as you can see, some of the front panel cables have become disconnected. So the on-off button and the reset switch and one of the two LEDs the cables have just come off so we're going to have a go at fixing these back on it's interesting, it's a very nice aluminium thermal take case that he's got um, but it's still exactly the same system that you'll see in any other case with these kind of twisted pairs of cables and these little connectors um, so it doesn't really matter whether you've got a cheaper case <laughs> like this one is um, or an expensive case. It's basically the same system. So we're going to have a go at putting these back together. Um, not too sure whether we'll need to put new LEDs in or not because obviously the legs have been cut off these LEDs now so there might not be enough to solder onto. I think the buttons, there's probably enough solder you probably can't see that anyway. I don't think it'll focus on it. There is probably enough solder already on those just to heat those up and it'll probably allow the solder to melt and reflow. So, we'll give it a go and see what we can do. Okay, we've done the first bit, which is to get the power button reconnected. I'm really pleased with that job, it's nice and neat. Um, and the heat shrink is shrunk nicely. That means we shouldn't get any shorts there at all. I've just connected it up to this, my test system, which is my old as rock motherboard and if we now press the button the system starts up so we know that's connected the right way around we've got a good connection if we press it again the system shuts down so first one done and it's working that's a good start OK, we've now connected up the power LED. This is another one, you've got to get it the right way around. The, the positive and negative make a difference. Wrong way around, you'll blow your LED. The reset switch doesn't matter, and it's the only one of these four connections um, that is ambivalent to the uh, polarity, because all you're doing with your reset switch is just cutting the signal. Um, but uh, we've got that the right way around, and that's now working again. So here we are, a completed set of front panel buttons and LEDs and actually I think that my attempts at soldering these are actually better than the factory ones. This is the one the other one that's left. And you can see how much thinner and how much more flimsy that is compared to the ones that we've done today. So hopefully um that will work for a good while and uh, help to extend the life of a very good case.